okay so hello and welcome back now the next question is question number nine to stitch a shirt stitch means this is of course the whole thing is indian english and um, in india you say it to stitch a shirt meaning to have this sh your sh shirt essentially take a piece essentially the necessary piece of cloth to a tailor and then have the have the shirt tailor made essentially by the tailor so that that's called stitching to stitch a shirt two meters 15 centimeters 15 centimeter cloth is needed out of 40 meters cloth how many shirts can be stitched and how much cloth will remain and so and so basically you, you have 40 meters cloth and then each shirt can essentially requires 2 meters 15 centimeters right so now the data that we have is basically 2 meters the data that we have is 2 meters 15 centimeters cloth for for one shirt and we have 40 meters cloth available right now the question is how many how many shirts how many shirts can be made how many shirts can be made out of the out of the 40 meters 40 meters cloth that we have so you know this question is pretty much like for example um is pretty much like for example you have essentially you want to make cakes for example you want to make essentially cake a cake basically one cake needs for example something like for example one kilogram flour right and so then basically for and then and then essentially you have you have essentially 40 kilograms flour available so then how many cakes can you make out of 40 out of 40 kilo for out of 40 kilograms so essentially one kilogram one kilogram so that that goes essentially 40 goes into one 40 times that means you can you can you can make essentially 40 cakes right so what what you need to do in order to um in order to to, to decide this is essentially you can you can write essentially for example 40 kilograms is available is your avail the amount of available flour and if you subtract from that one kilogram which is which is necessary for one cake then what remains is 39 kilograms right then again out of the 39 kilograms remaining again you can make one more cake meaning subtract one one ki one kilogram and then what remains is 38 kilograms right and of course you can keep doing the same thing meaning 38 minus one and then you can subtract one kilogram essentially 40 times right so then you have to keep subtracting repeatedly and this and then essentially we saw in the previous video that division and, and subtraction are are essentially are related processes right which means that basically instead of repeatedly subtracting you can divide so divide the 40 kilograms that we have by essentially one kilogram the answer is 40 40 times one is equal to 40 subtract zero remainder zero meaning that you can make 40 cakes and no flour will remain essentially you, the whole flour that you have will be used now this is the exact same type of problem you have 40 meters cloth 
you want to make essentially shirts for one shirt you need two meters 15 centimeters right so again what you can do is that you can say that for example you have 40 meters cloth and then minus two meters 15 centimeters how, how what is how do you do this operation just not possible because essentially the unit over here is meter the unit and and this is essentially a like a fraction basically so that's it 12 to 2 meters 15 centimeters right so what i need to do is that i need to either con uh, meaning that i need to convert meters to centimeters or centimeters to meters basically so and easier is because you're dealing with essentially 15 centimeters and so meaning that um because of the fact that essentially at this point in time well we are not really acquainted with decimal numbers so it's easier to convert everything to centimeter right converting everything to centimeter so essentially then what is the amount of cloth that is required for one shirt so two 15 centimeters is already in centimeters and two meters is the same thing as basically let's say that let's say that you have two meters and if i multiply it by essentially a centi which is the same thing as a 10 raised to the power negative two so which is essentially 10 raised to the power negative two which is one over essentially 10 raised to the power two which is the same thing as one over a hundred right so that is one over a hundred that is one over a hundred so then your calculation essentially becomes uh, basically centi goes over here two centimeters and one over one over a hundred is a hundred which is the same thing as 200 centimeters so two meters is the same thing as 200 centimeters right so so then what you can do is you can say that two meters 15 centimeters is actually the same thing as two meters plus 15 centimeters and because we know that two meters is the same thing as 200 centimeters i can write this as 200 centimeters plus 15 centimeters which is the same thing as 215 centimeters right so that is the amount of cloth required for one shirt and the amount of cloth that we have is 40 meters so if 2 meters is the same as 200 centimeters meaning meaning you're multiplying by 100 then 40 meters is the same thing as 40 times 100 which is the same thing as 4000 it's 40 is 40 times 100 centimeters which is the same thing as 4000 centimeters right 4000 centimeters so now you have essentially this is 4000 centimeters this is 200 and this over here and this over here is 215 centimeters so we have these two numbers now we can essentially do the same operation that we did before meaning that we have 4000 centimeters and subtract from that 215 centimeters right now you can do the operation right but then you have to write essentially 4000 4000 centimeters and then minus 215 which is the same thing as 3000 785 for example and uh, that that's the same thing as 3885 if i'm not mistaken 
so 4000 minus 215 is 3785 3785 um, okay 3785 centimeters and then again you have basically again you have this 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 is remaining so then you have 3785 centimeters minus 215 for example centimeters again you have to do the the essentially the the subtraction whatever remains here comes here and then minus 215 centimeters and then you have to keep doing the same thing right so it's not easy to do this this operation and you have to just keep it keep doing it for many many times essentially <clears throat> so instead of repeatedly subtracting i can simply divide right so i'm going to say that i have 4000 i have 4000 centimeters cloth I have 4,000 centimeters cloth and each shirt requires 215 centimeters. And of course, I can do the operation. So the operation is basically 4,000 4, centimeters divided by 215 centimeters, right? This is division. And I can do the division because essentially the units are the same, right? So meaning that if I, if this was, for example, if I had 4,000, for example, centimeters divided by, I, I don't know, 225, for example, I don't know, for example, um, uh, kilograms, right? I could, I mean, the, the, the most that I could do would be that, for example, I could simplify the number somehow and then write the number as for example some number over some other number in centimeters per for example kilogram something like that but but then essentially the the, the unit would remain as for example centimeter to kilogram and then of course the numbers you would you would be able to do some sort of simplification and simplify the the fraction but here, essentially, because the units are centimeter and centimeter, the units you can just simply cancel out and just simply do it as a as a usual as a simple essentially division. So that's a 215, right? And now these basically sometimes I point out to some troublesome things for example i i write the units over here and say that you're not supposed to do this or you you're, you're supposed to do that why are you allowed to do this and all of these things these are the types of things that if you're a student you're 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 highly unlikely to pay any attention to these things okay but these are important and um, and then what happens is that well because it's a lot of trouble uh, usually essentially your teacher doesn't will not essentially point out to these things they just want you to learn the your basic mathematics do the examination but then essentially if you pay attention to essentially what happens why is it so why and why not your math, you will be aware of many things in mathematics, which is not, which is going to be very useful for you for the for your whole career, whatever it might be. Okay. So now, if you do the if you do the the division over here, you can write four thousand divided by two hundred fifteen. So if you if you do the calculation here, you have four thousand divided by two hundred fifteen which would be essentially an 18 with the, with the remainder of 130. So then you can say that basically 4,000 divided by 215 is the same thing as 18 remainder, remainder 130, right? Remainder 130. And so, uh, which means that essentially 
This means that you can make 18 shirts and 130. And of course, these are um, these essentially these numbers are all in centimeters, right? Which means that essentially, um, which means that essentially this 4,000 is in centimeters. This 215 is cent is in centimeters. This 18 does not have any unit because it's centimeters over centimeters. But then, but then this 130 is again in centimeters, right? So then this essentially tells us that you can make 18 shirts and then with the remainder of 130 centimeters of a piece of cloth with a length of 130 centimeters, which is essentially 1.3 meters basically, right? So then the answer you can write essentially therefore, for example, therefore you can you can make 18 shirts with a cloth remainder of basically of 130 centimeters or essentially one basically one meter you can say essentially one meter and 30 centimeters or essentially you can you can in decimal format of course right now we haven't talked about essentially decimal numbers but you can write it as 1.3 essentially meters you can write it this way as well but now because we haven't talked about decimal numbers you can forget about this but then in order to write your number essentially this way one meter and and and, and 30 centimeters you know that essentially a hundred centimeters is the same thing as one meter right so 130 centimeters can be written as a hundred centimeters plus essentially 30 centimeters right which is the same thing as 100 centimeters is the same as one meter and basically 30 centimeters which essentially you can write it as as essentially one meter 30 centimeters you can write it this way as well with a little bit of essentially um, a little bit of space between the two it's understood that it, it, it means one meter and for example 30 centimeters so that, you, that that way you can write it okay so now the next question that we have is question number 10 medicine is packed in boxes each weighing 40 kilograms 500 grams how many such boxes can be loaded in a van which cannot carry beyond 800 kilograms so what this means essentially each box essentially weighs four kilograms 500 grams and you want to know how many of such boxes can you load into a van which cannot carry beyond eight, 800 kilograms meaning the highest amount the highest load that you can load into that you can put into this van is 800 kilograms and not more than that right so now essentially the medicine box weighs four kilograms 500 grams right and and then basically the the essentially the essentially the van load limit the van load limit is essentially 800 kilograms so essentially what you want to do essentially what you want to do is that essentially you have this is the this is essentially the van capacity and this is each of those boxes now if you think of this problem as essentially as the, the same problem that we had before meaning that we had for example 40 meters of cloth and each shirt essentially needed for example something like two meters cloth each shirt so then we said that essentially 40 meters the total the total amount of cloth that we have 
and the two meters you need for each for each shirt basically so then we said that 40 meters minus 2 meters is the same thing as 38 meters then 38 meters minus 2 meters is the same thing as 36 meters and so on and so forth and based on the repeated subtraction we decided that we, we could divide meaning divide 40 by 2 so 40 divided by 2 is the same thing as for example 20 and we said that then we could make essentially 20 shares out of the all of the cloth that we have right the same thing that you can do essentially over here so what you can do is that you have essentially that that's that's essentially the the van loading limit and then that's essentially the weight of each box but now the problem is that you have to and then of course based on the same logic you would have to say that for example 800 kilograms divided by 4 kilo 4 kilograms 500 grams but then now you see that the units do not go together meaning over here you have kilograms over here you have kilograms and grams so you have to convert and because of the fact that um, basically because of the fact that we don't i mean at this point in time we don't know about decimal numbers the only thing that i can do is is essentially to convert everything to grams basically right because essentially if we knew about decimal numbers i could write essentially four kilograms and 500 grams i could write it as four and a half 4.5 essentially kilograms and then this is 800 and then i would divide basically i would divide 800 kilograms divided and divide that by 4.5 4.5 kilograms right i could i could now the units are the same so i can do the 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 operation but uh, again um, even now essentially since you don't know about the decimal numbers i'm going to leave that to some other course essentially so because if i want to talk about the decimal numbers then i would have to i would have to actually extend the our knowledge of the decimal number system then then you then you will understand essentially what what the decimal point is and then what that actually means so so then I'm going to for the same reason essentially I'm going to convert everything to essentially to grams basically right so so then the answer would be that essentially 800 kilograms is the same thing as 800 times a thousand grams because a kilo is a, is a thousand so you multiply it by a thousand and of course you don't you, you i mean you don't need to take my word for it you can if you don't understand it directly do your own conversion meaning right for example 800 kilograms is the same thing as 800 times kilo is the same thing as essentially um so over here you have 800 kilograms and then over here write essentially you want to get rid of the kilo write it in the denominator so that they cancel out and then kilo is the same thing as 10 raised to the power 3 which is a thousand so write your thousand over here cancel these out thousand times essentially a hundred is essentially thousand times a hundred and then the unit would be grams okay so there is no need to essentially memorize or take even take my word for it so that is essentially 8000 8000 grams and 4 kilograms 500 grams is the same thing so 4 kilograms would be 4 times a thousand which is 4000 4000 grams plus essentially 500 grams which is the same thing as 4,500 grams. That's 4,500 grams, right? Now I can 
basically I can divide meaning I have 8,000 grams and uh, um, that that is actually nothing but that is not 800 that is not 8,000 but 800,000 800,000 grams basically right now I can divide basically 800,000 by 4,500 now 800,000 800, grams divided by 4,500 grams gram and gram you can cancel out two zeros you can cancel out with two zeros and um, I mean the reason that I'm canceling the, the zeros out is of course you have to understand it not just again not just take my word for it the reason is that essentially if I take if I write this this number as 8000 times 100 which is the same thing as 800,000 in grams, right? And 4,500, 4, I can write it as 45 times 100, right? Grams. So the units in the numerator and the denominator, um, the units in the, numer in, the, in the numerator and in the denominator are the same. You can cancel them out. It's like saying essentially so the reason the reason that you can cancel the units out is essentially is that that is the same thing as saying for example two centimeters to two centimeters right so two centimeters is essentially a distance which is essentially just two centimeters for example on your ruler and again, two centimeters is the same distance. So essentially then when you d divide that, that distance by itself, of course the answer is one, right? It is actually one. Meaning that essentially two centimeters, meaning that two centimeters is actually the same as two centimeters because the division has become one. Or in other words, essentially two centimeters is the same thing as two centimeters times a one. Whereas if you write, for example, four centimeters to two centimeters, the answer would be two, which means that essentially four centimeters is two times two centimeters. Meaning that if you take two centimeters, the distance on your ruler, multiply it by two, the distance would become essentially four centimeters, meaning twice two centimeters, right? So then, essentially, you can see over here that that the unit, of course, cancels out because you you are you are less, you are essentially left with the two. So the units in the numerator and the denominator, as long as you have any sort of multiplication or division, the units essentially cancel out. Meaning, for example, you can imagine that this is times a one and this is times a one. So the units you can cancel out, or even this way you can just simply cancel the units out and then 4 divided by 2 is a 2, right? So then basically what happens here is that then in this case 800,000 divided by 4,500 and then meaning that if I write for example 800,000 divided by 4,500 if I want to do the division of course, I don't have to carry all of the zeros with me to the division. I can cancel out two zeros here, two zeros here. Why? Because essentially 800,000, I can write it as 8,000 times 100, right? And 4,500, I can write it as 45 times 100. And then 100 and 100, I can cancel out. And then what remains is 8,000, which is what remains here, to 45 right so that's essentially why sometimes i uh, cancel out zeros from essentially from some number in the numerator in the denominator i can can i sometimes i cancel out as many zeros as possible right so so then um so then what happens is that 
um, is that um, we were essentially talking about about dividing 8,000 grams by 800,000 grams by 4,500 grams. So 8,000 800,000 grams by 4,500 grams. Gram and gram you can cancel out. Two zeros you can cancel out with two zeros. It becomes 8,000 divided by 45, right? Now, if you divide, if you divide 8,000 by 45, I'm not pretty sure if it's helpful for me to show you long division, but I show you a couple of them. 8,000 divided by 45. So then 45 goes into 80 essentially one time. So that's a 45. If I subtract, I have essentially this becomes a 10. So 10 minus 5 is a 5. And then 7 minus 4 is equal to 3. I bring down the 0. And essentially if I put a 7 over here, 7 times 45 is the same thing as is the same thing as 35 3 7 times 28 31 that's 315 right 315 minus 350 minus 315 is the same thing as 300 is is the same thing as 35 and then bring down another zero and then again another 7 7 times 45 is again the same thing as 315 and over here I have essentially a 35 remaining. So which means that essentially the, um, which means that then you can write 800,000 grams to 4,500 grams is actually the same thing as 800,000 8, divided by 45, which as you saw here is the same thing as 177 remainder 35 and 35 is actually in grams meaning this 177 doesn't have any units because it's the number of boxes right but then the third the, the 35 that remains is actually the is actually in grams meaning that you are essentially loading the whole truck essentially the the highest amount of load that you can put in the truck which was which was basically 800 kilograms you are essentially going to you are essentially filling that whole capacity with only the only capacity remaining for the truck would be essentially 35 grams which means that essentially the number of boxes that you can load into this truck would be essentially 177 boxes not more than that right okay so that is that was question number 10 in the next video we will talk about the rest of the questions thank you